Welcome, Adam Central patron. Please stay on the line to join our community as we hold a live telephone town hall to discuss the May 11th school bond election. You will have an opportunity to ask questions of the Adams Central School Board during this live forum. So stay on the phone to join the conversation, or just listen in as your neighbors discuss the proposed one-site solution to our expensive upkeep challenges. Thank you. Good evening. My name is Kurt, and I'm a uh, volunteer with AC PATS, uh, an issue committee that's trying to get the school bond passed tonight. We have as our guest the school board, and what they're going to try and do is answer any questions you might have. So if you have a question, please hit zero on your phone, and you'll be directed to one of our volunteers, and we'll get you up and answer your questions. Again, hit zero on your phone if you have a question of the board. We'd really appreciate you asking anything you had in mind. And meanwhile, I'm going to let the school board president introduce himself and talk about the bond issue, if he could. Go ahead, please. Good evening. I'd like to welcome everyone this evening. Um, I am Randy Court. Our purpose is to provide as much information as we can so that when the bond issue comes on the ballot, our patrons are informed, and they have all the information that they need. Before we take our first question tonight, if we could, we do have a poll we're asking everybody. With the upcoming election on May 11th, if you support the issue, press 1. If you don't support the issue, press 2, and we'd appreciate it. We do uh, ask everybody in the interim if they'd like to uh, ask a question of the board. Hit 0 on that phone pad right now, and we'll get right to the questions. Meanwhile, why don't you take it away and just start talking about all the particulars. Anybody have any things they'd like to talk about? Go ahead, please. Um, you know, as the board, we have uh, held several of these meetings uh, personally, and then this is our second phone in town hall. We felt they've been extremely helpful for our patrons because we, it's given us the ability to share information with the patrons. Um, we've been able to field questions from them and hopefully clarify some of their concerns. Well, one of the things that we have talked a lot about is the fact that we feel that this is good timing for the bond. A perfect example that has kind of come up here in the last day is Kearney Public School put their uh, bond issue out to bid, and their bid came in 18 less, 18 percent less than it was estimated. So I think this shows that construction is extremely aggressive right now. People are looking for work. We really feel that this would be beneficial for our district to make the improvements that we wish to make at this time. Uh, we're going to take our first question from Mike. Mike, go ahead, please. Hi. I'd like to know, uh, you know, in black and white, are the smaller satellite schools going to be closed and sold off and put on the tax rolls once the new school is built, or are they going to waffle and keep some of them, and and then we'll have all sorts of schools around again? Um, right now, our, our full intent um, is to we will operate all the elementary at our single site, the single site that we are trying to uh, or proposing to build with this bond issue. Uh, the smaller schools at that point. We will take interest in those schools as uh, we move closer to the time period of entering our new building. That is two years away. Being two years away, a lot of things can happen between then and now. Um, but it is our intent to only operate one single-site elementary school. Well, the school board has been this, – this is Janet Driddick. The school board has spent probably the last two years looking at the elementary schools um, and what we might do with those particular schools. If we should have multiple sites, one site. We've had a number of facility studies done over the last couple of years. Um, and through that, th through those studies, we've really decided that one site we felt was the most efficient and the best route to go. And we feel like that, that site would be at Adams Central where we can consolidate some of the, um, the administration and staff that we have we also looked um, so that we'd be more efficient. Our next question is going to be from Holly. Holly, what's your question, please? Um, I just want to know how you're going to handle the flow of traffic with the adding the elementary school because it's kind of congested and hard to get in and out of Adams Central now with it being junior and senior high. You know, and there's only two two ways basically on Adams Central Road and Highway Six to get in and out. I just wondered how that's going to be handled so kids can stay safe and everybody. Okay. Well, we've, we've worked on this 
this flow of traffic. This is Gaylord Johnson. And uh, anyhow, this has been a concern of us as a school board. We've looked at this even before we went to these meetings. And the problem we've had is that the Highway 6 is a state highway and we have to go through the state to get this changed. And we're working on those things at this particular time. And uh, we've also recognized the fact that uh, um, 12th Street and Adam Central Road is a problem also, and, and we're working on that. But we have to, we're going to, we have contacted the State Department, and we've got a hold of their engineers down there, and we believe we've got the right people at this particular time to help us out on this. But uh, I don't think anything can really happen until the, um, you know, whether the bond issue passes or not, you know, at that particular time. We've also had, uh, you know, different parking lots that we have arranged in our drawing, you know, so that we can kind of handle the high school kids in one area, you know, and then the elementary in another area to separate them. And another thing that we have considered and, and probably going to do is have a variance of starting times you know, from that so that we have people coming at different times. And we know that there is somewhat of a traffic problem, but I don't, it's all schools are going to have that. I don't care whether, where we go with the school, there will be traffic at that particular time when parents are bringing kids in, you know, at that. And, and as it goes along, we will solve that as time comes along, and we'll look at it and see what, what we can do, and we're really very concerned that also. I want to remind people if they had some more questions, some questions that did not come up but might have been asked, they probably are on our website with questions and answers. Our website address is investinginac.com and um, it's got a lot of information on there from the, be the, the beginning thoughts of this process all the way to today. Um, it's loaded with information. I suggest you check out the site. Again, if you want to vote via absentee, I'd recommend calling Chris Lewis in the morning over at the uh, clerk's office. She'll be really happy that we suggest she get a bunch of calls tomorrow morning, but just don't say it came from me. We're going to take care of a couple more matters before we finish up tonight. We're going to ask the question one more time. We are ahead, mind you. Um, do you support the bond, uh, school bond issue, which we're all hoping you vote on on May 11th? Again, press one if it's yes, and two if it's no. One if it's yes, two if it's no. There's a few of you that haven't had a chance to vote yet we could see. Finally, um, I want to point out that Randy has some closing comments, and uh, if you do, at the end of this call, if you do have a question, you can leave a voicemail at the end of this, and we will get back to you. As soon as we hang up, you'll have that opportunity to leave us a voicemail. And like I said, we will get back to you. Randy, go ahead, please. Uh, Kurt, I'd just like to, uh, from for the board, I'd like to thank AC Pass for giving the board this opportunity to come um, forward and uh, have everyone listen in. We think this is a, a, a great opportunity. We can communicate with a lot of individuals at a single time. It's convenient for our patrons. So uh, again, I think the board is very appreciative and would like to thank AC Pass for giving us the opportunity and as he said, if there's any questions or concerns that you have, please feel free to contact either the school or any of us, and, and we'll sure get an answer to you. And good night, everybody. We really appreciate you listening in tonight. Have a safe night. That concludes our brief summary of this telephone town hall meeting. Here is the voicemail message left for each missed call on the outgoing call list. Hello, Adam Central patron. I'm sorry to have missed you. Tonight we held a live telephone town hall forum to discuss challenges facing our elementary school system, and we hoped you would be able to join us. As you may know, the school board and district patrons have been working for the last few years on solutions to expensive upkeep challenges facing our elementary school system. The consensus solution to those problems has been to build a single central elementary school site. Please come out and support your school district at the polls. For more information on the school bond, visit www investinginac.com.